You know what you should do? You should follow me on Twitter at Bromo018. Link in the description. Do it now. Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 6 of our Ajax FIFA 19 career mode series. We are really progressing into the season now. As you can see, we are into late December and we're really getting on with it. As I say, today it is a big one. It is arguably the biggest game of the season so far. It's first versus second. But, of course... Before we get on to that, I need to show you just what's happened in the games previously. So we've had three games. Obviously, the Den Haag game was the last one we played in Episode 5. Uh, and it was all going really well. And then we come on to the uh, Zuela game. Uh, it's another comfortable win. 2-0 in the end. Um, when I say comfortable, it was actually a really, really tough game. Uh, Donny van der Beek obviously gets a scoring off and then... In the second half, I noticed they were really pressing us. They were going for it. Uh, it was it was fun to play. I'm not going to lie, it was fun to play, but it was a big challenge. And then Lasse Scherner gets sent off in the 82nd minute, and they're really piling on the pressure. But thankfully, uh, we regroup, and then because they've committed so many men forward with what's happened, um, we managed to hit them on the counter, and Myron Boadu rounds off the scoring. So, yeah, we uh, we managed to keep up that run of, run of uh, wins. Um, somehow and we moved on to the next one and in this one I don't actually have a scoreboard to show you because um, I sort of raged sort of raged at the end um, I was so fuming after the game had finished that I just I completely forgot about you know checking all the uh, minutes and stuff of the players and you know the goal scorers and the time that they've scored and so um, just advanced on and as a result Obviously, I missed out everything. We were 2-0 up uh, against Graf Schapp and bottled it, really. Uh, in all fairness, the two goals I'm blaming the game for because it was some strange, strange mechanics. I can't even explain what was going on, but nevertheless, you know, defensive errors, I guess. Again, two, one from a corner and one from a cross. So, it's just so... Um, frustrating to deal with. It, you know, we need to work that out. How we do that? I'm not quite sure yet, but um, we've got to find a way because that's at the moment that's really what's costing us. And then we move on to this game against uh, Zwale again uh, in the cup this time, the round of 16, and we get a 2-1 win. Now, obviously, because I played a couple of days before, a lot of tired players, so I had to make loads of changes. I made 10 altogether, apart from the goalkeeper. Um, and obviously, as you can see, started off you know dodgy, but then we were on Clash and Hunter in the second half. Um, and managed to skate the win. He, of course, himself got a goal, and then Asani Bande as well also scored, who wasn't having a great game until then. But uh, they're trying to put themselves into my plans for the, uh, well, for today's game, really, and, and the game's coming fourth. And yes, as I say, uh, it is first versus second, so the league table uh, looks like this. Three points off first, we are now off Utrecht, who are... Uh, top of the table and if we win today we do go top because of goal difference so all to play for all to play for um, and as you can see the title race is still very much on um, apart from us and Utrecht we've also got Feyenoord we've got Vitesse Heronveen who coincidentally hopefully I've got a screenshot of it here I should do um, to show you if not I apologize but Heronveen have actually just been uh, taken over in FIFA in this save by um, some mega rich owners apparently so expect them to start uh, spending spending quite large amounts and seeing if they can challenge uh, we'll wait to see what happens there but yeah definitely worth keeping an eye on PSV still still struggling you know still struggling um, if we have a look here they've started to have strung a couple of wins together recently but um, they're still way off the pace so you know they need to um, need to improve a bit improve quite a lot really so yeah they'll be a uh, they'll be disappointed but nevertheless we uh we go on one thing i do want to mention is that i've just watched the highlights uh, earlier on today of recording this 
of uh, Ajax in the final game. And it turns out Feyenoord uh, actually won 6-2. So hopefully we can um, try and avoid that sort of situation in this uh, in this series and particularly in such a big game like today. Just to let you know, the plan for today's episode, obviously we've got the uh, Utrecht game and then, obviously, and then after that we've got a winter break. Excuse me. So um, what we're going to do is we'll show the game and then we'll show a little bit of transfer season. I'm going to tell you about my plans in it afterwards and then we'll see how it goes. But now I'm going to quickly show you the lineup before we get into the big game. And let me just have a look, quick look here, actually, just in case he's back. He is back. There we go. Hakim Zayek was, of course, injured, but um, he's fit to play, so he's going to go into the team. Daily Blind, though, I've got to say, he's played well. He has played well, and he's earned himself <laughs> a place back into the squad for some reason, just in centre attacking mid. It seems to be a suit in him, so, you know, we'll go with that. He's a good option anyway. But yeah, apart from that, we're going to keep with that for now. One thing you should bear in mind on, bear in mind even, is uh, Per Schurz. He's not really had a look in this season, but I don't know why, because um, I think he could be a really, really good player and a very good option. I know he does grow to in the 80s, so I think he could be uh, getting a few... Um, opportunities within the next few games of course we don't play for a few weeks afterwards but yeah keep an eye on that guys and see what happens but without further ado it is time to begin away we go then i hear these two are fairly intense rivals so hopefully we can do the supporters proud today looking for a cutback and it should have gone to Neres. Why is Grunewald locking onto that one? There's no excuse for that not to be falling to Neres. Spotted the run of Neres. And he's bursting through now. David Neres, what will he do with the ball? Needs someone across. No one runs in. You've got to be looking for people uh, to burst into the six-yard box there. It's disappointing, but it's going to drop to Van der Beek. Who will go for goal. Falls to him again. And again. Oh. Van der Beek is trying to be patient here, really. Don't want to give them opportunities to counter on us because I know that's what they're looking to do. Zayek. Over to De Jong. He's going to try and find some space. Oh, I thought that trickled in, you know. He might have took, taken a deflection, actually. The, we have a look here. Yeah, it does. I thought the trajectory of the ball, the ball looked all wrong. We got a corner from it. Oh, right back's deserted. Grunewald giving him space. And that could be dangerous. Oh, he's forced a good save from the keeper. And they managed to avoid the corner throwing. Van der Beek's got space. Oh, what a finish that is. Donny van der Beek just scoring regularly now. He's really warm to this box-to-box -box midfielder role that we've tried to bend him into. And what a finish that is on his left peg. He's absolutely delighted. Sends the away fans absolutely delirious, really. Giving him too much space. Here we go. You can have a look again. Frankie de Jong spots him. And look, they just... They don't close him down. The they're centre half, the one on the left, not sure who it is, even there with the gloves on. Um, he essentially looks as though he's too hesitant to leave his position, but you, you have to. There's no one else running in behind you. You have to leave your position and close down the man. You can't give people that sort of space on the edge of the area. And uh, he's proved it there. Six goal this season. Starting to get a tally together. He's our second top scorer behind David Neres and uh, what a season he's having so far what a start oh he's giving the ball away cheaply sorry guys you have to excuse the little jump cut here um, there's the stats by the way as you can see dominating but sorry I've, I've posted about this on my Twitter earlier today and follow me on Twitter if you're not by the way um, about the EFL the football league for those of you who don't know um it's a pretty load of copyright claims on my videos like three different ones in a matter of seconds 
um, it turns out they were saying that the video clips I used was theirs. Uh, it's not theirs. It's just a FIFA 19 trailer. Obviously, it doesn't belong to them. Um, I, I don't know what it is. I had this problem months ago um, and got it back. And now I've just had literally just had an email now uh, saying that a fourth run has been blocked. Um, so it's getting on my nerves now. And obviously, I had to um, cut around there. It made me stop talking for a second. But I do apologize for that. Uh, but yeah, on that note, by the way, any of those videos uh, you won't be able to watch until I uh, get this settled. So do bear that in mind. But now it's time to get on with the second half. Oh, we tricked of Kamida Lamen forward here. Groneveld gets one off. It's a poor touch from Zayek. But we've got an opportunity now. Groneveld is in. He might have to go it alone. Oh, it's a good save from the keeper. Should he score? Maybe. It's a tough one, but we managed to capitalise on their mess up. But Wadu and Zayek just not making any sort of run trip over each other. Um, but thankfully, we, um, well, no, unfortunately, should I say, we uh, can wave only a corner. He's put in the corner. Oh, he's delete there. Oh. Oh, De Jong's lost it. They're going to counter on us now. Oh, thankfully he makes a terrible decision. Why have I done that? Oh, my word. Why did I do that? Why? No, they're going to score. Damn it! That's my fault. Why did I try and be cocky and flick it over like that? Just pass it back to the goalie. Ah, Completely my fault disappointing from me and oh, why I did that I got too cocky uh, and then leave us in trouble really we try and pass it out it's a good finish but it all falls for my mistake and that time it is my fault completely don't know why I did that at all silly it's 1-1 one, one. we've given them an opportunity we're in control Tadio Fico looks at lay it off to Groneveld and he's going to look for a low ball Zayek running in corner what can we make subs wise? I don't really see. I don't know. I'm not sure I see the need to. Maybe Boadu actually. Uh, and we could bring on. Hmm. Bande. See what he can do. Boadu not really done a lot this game. Asani Bande obviously scored in the last match. Let's see if he can do it again this time and save us. Looking for Delit. Oh, near post. It's a good header. It's twice now. He's managed to get a get a header in from a corner. Hasn't come to anything. Oh, he's looking for Bande. Talia Fico wins it. We've got one last opportunity now. Will that be a corner? It will. This is the last opportunity of the game. Delit's already had two free headers. Can he make it third time? Lucky. No, he can't. Comes out to Bande. Oh, ref blown for full time never works in my favor that stoppage time playing on bug I guess you could call it but um yeah that's you know the worst thing about that is, is that it was all my fault that um we haven't won that game look at that 15 shots 62 percent possession we should have came away with the win uh, in all fairness I've only had three chances all game they actually looked fairly dangerous on the counter attack and that was clearly their tactic to try and uh, exploit the spaces that we would leave behind being so you know attacking based and really it's um they've they've got away with one we should have made them pay we've had multiple chances uh, regardless of my mistake to be fair and uh, we should have we should have won that game um don't get me wrong it's not a bad result a draw away to top of the table but you know it's not a win so disappointing drops us down to fourth but that that table doesn't really say a whole lot. It doesn't, you know, give it give you a clear picture. Of course, 39, 38, 37, 36, you know, one point between each team. I think it's um, you know, still a long way to go and we've still got a lot to uh a lot to play for. So yeah, not too not worried at all at the moment. I think the performances are definitely getting better. Um and obviously the results are improving. We were a little bit inconsistent at the start, but we've definitely uh came on a whole bunch 
since then. So, uh, yeah, pleased overall, and I think we could still win this league come the end of the season. Let's have a look here. There's a youth player that wants that. We're just going to go into the start of transfer season. I'm going to, you know, sort of tell you about my plans and what I'm, you know, really looking for. It's this guy, I mean, I, uh, I actually have a thing with youth academy players. I won't promote one unless their potential is 94 maximum and minimum, you know, 87, 88, you know. Because at the moment, he hasn't formed properly, he can still drop. So, if he's not going to weigh around, I'm not going to bother to um, to promote him. So, uh, yeah, we'll go with that. Uh, we'll just simulate to the first day of transfer window, if we can actually get there. You know what, I'm going to skip to it, uh, and I'll join you shortly. Right, so welcome back, everyone. You, uh, you've you joined me after about four youth players decided they, uh, they wanted off. Um, got through all of it. Now we're in transfer season not going to go too deep into this to be honest i'm really just going to talk to you quickly about sort of my plans for uh for transfer season now these are the players on my shortlist doesn't mean i'm going to sign them literally just you know some of them just shortlisted for the sake like you know look one etc um a couple of players i do have my eye on one is ravel morrison his contract expires at the end of the season and uh you know it's a reasonable wage now uh i am a massive fan of Ravel Morrison, big big fan of Ravel Morrison. Um, you know, I know he's had a lot of, you know, he's had a couple of issues down the years, but man, he's a supremely talented player, he's so talented. And um, and I think the idea of a, a redemption story, him coming to Ajax and you know resurrecting his his uh, playing career uh, is one that really appeals to me. And I think that's got to be an option. Um, he definitely fits into the way we want to play. It's into the mould of that sort of technical player um, that just has that. He's just a class above the rest. Um, very possession orientated. So, yeah, I think we might be signing him uh, on a pre-contract deal. Another one was a centre-back. We was looking at one. And I thought Ricky Van Drongelen would be um, a brilliant fit, really. I had Kit Pierre in mind at first, but then Van Drongelen uh, better, really. And I, and I believe higher potential. So he's an option, um, but with the added sort of, I don't know, element, I guess, of um, Pair Schurz maybe coming into the fold, then perhaps we won't need one. I don't know, but we're going to see how that goes. I think I might give him a shot in the next couple of games uh, and see how it goes. But um, yeah, that's about it, really. That's just me quickly fitting you in on what's going to happen in transfer window. Um, apart from that, we're ready to uh, ready to round it off there. If I have a look here, I think we'll be back for the final game, to be honest. That makes perfect sense. Um, away this time is going to be a real tough game, but I'm really looking forward to it. Hopefully, we may have made a signing or two by then. And, um, you know, I'll fill you in on how that happens. But for now, it's time to finish it there. So if you've enjoyed the episode, do be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more regular gaming content. And on that note, I've been Bron 18, and I'll see you soon. Come on.